Hi everyone, how's it going? So this is English class online, and this is level two, lesson 22, which starts on June 17th. This is part one. In this video, we're going to review subject and object pronouns. You are probably watching this video between June 17th and June 21st. This video was filmed on June 14th, 2020. Well, first, let's start with the warm up. The day is Sunday. The date is June 14th, 2020, or 06. I'm hitting the wrong button. Let's try this again. The date is 06. One, four, so June 14th, 2020. All right, let's move on to the weather. So let's look at the weather right now. I need to, nope. I need to refresh this. Okay, so right now it is Sunday at 6 p.m. The weather is mostly cloudy, so let's just say the weather is cloudy. The current temperature is 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Precipitation or chance of rain is 48%, so it may rain, it maybe it won't. Humidity is 64%, so that's about normal. Wind is 7 miles per hour, so that's, that's, that's a little bit of wind. Today's a little windy. Let's look at the daily forecast. So for Sunday, Sunday it's partly cloudy, some places are raining. The weather, the, the high temperature is 81 degrees and the low temperature is 61 degrees. All right, so the weather is cloudy. There is a 48% chance of rain. So it might rain today. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. 50% eh, chance. So maybe. It might rain today. The humidity is 64%, 65%. So that's, that's about normal. Today is a little windy. Just a little windy. Not a lot of wind, but some. Today the temperature range is from 61 to 81 degrees Fahrenheit. The current temperature is 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. It feels cool. Okay, yesterday, Yesterday, the weather was sunny. Now, tomorrow. Let's say tomorrow, the weather will be. Let's see what the weather it will be tomorrow. Monday. Let's look at Monday. Scattered thunderstorms. So let's say tomorrow is rainy. Tomorrow, the weather will be rainy. Okay, a quick reminder about possessives. Possessives are words that show ownership. They show you who the object belongs to. So we have subject pronouns. I, you, we, they, he, she, it. So the subject pronouns can replace names. So if I say, Tan goes to the store. Tan buys orange juice. Tan goes home. It gets repetitive. So I don't want to say my name all the time. So I can say, I go to the store. I buy orange juice. I go home. Or, Jacob goes to the store. Jacob buys a, uh, an apple. Jacob goes home. I don't want to say the name Jacob three times. So I can say, he. He goes to the store. He buys an apple. He drives home. Now, we have possessives. These are possessive adjectives. They go in front of the object. For if, if I have something, it's my. You, your, we, are. They, their, he, his, she, her, it, its. 
So possessive adjectives can replace the. So in a sentence like, in a sentence like, um, I have a hat. The hat is green. I have a hat. The hat is green. Possessives can replace the word the. They can. Okay, so let's just do this one first. Well, because I have the hat, we say my. My hat is green. Possessives can also replace this, these, that, and those. Possessives can replace the word the, this, these, that, and those. So we can say these are my shoes. My shoes are size nine. These are my shoes. My shoes are size nine. This tells you how big my shoes are. The word my can replace the word these. So we can say these shoes are size nine, but we want to say my shoes because these are my shoes. The, a name and then the apostrophe s can also replace the words the, the, this, these, that, and those. So, when we use apostrophe s, we always add it after a name. So, this bike belongs to John. This is John's bike. Now, let's move on to possessive pronouns. We have the subject pronouns. We have the possessive adjectives, and now we have the possessive pronouns. Mine, yours, ours, theirs, his, hers, and nothing. So, possessive pronouns. Possessive pronouns replace... My object. They replace my object. So instead of saying my car, we can say mine. So if we say my car is blue, we can also say mine is blue. Now, let's put this together with what we learned in Unit 9 and 10. In Unit 9, we learned... We learned about the words can, could, will, and would. We use these words when we ask someone for help. So if we want something to do something for us, we say, Can you clean the carpet? Will you repair the oven? Would you fix the dryer? So now let's use these words with possessive pronouns. So let's say... Let's say uh, I... No, let's say... We are going to the park. We are going to the park. Today is cold. We are going to the park. Today is cold. We need jackets. We are going to the park. Today is cold. We need jackets. So let's say the temperature, the current temperature is 45 degrees Fahrenheit. It's cold. So we need jackets, okay? So, when you 
go upstairs could you grab my jacket so we're going to the park today it's cold we need jackets when you go upstairs could you grab my jacket grab is another way to say get when you go upstairs could you grab my jacket well which one is your jacket which one is your jacket there's another way we can say this because we have your jacket because possessive pronouns replace the possessive adjective and then the ver then the object so we have your jacket let's replace your jacket so your we replaced your jacket with yours which one is yours which one is yours my jacket is gray my jacket is gray can we replace my jacket my jacket becomes mine 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 is gray Oops, that's supposed to be a C. Could you also, could you also get my scarf? Could you also get my scarf? Okay, so now we know that we need to get a scarf. Well, what if there's a lot of scarves and they're all different colors? Let's go all the way back to a very long time ago. Back to unit one, where we learned about patterns. Okay, so let's say, okay, so this is the order for adjectives. First comes color, first comes size, then color, then pattern. So, could you also grab my scarf? Well, I say, I don't know. Which one is your scarf? So you can say, mine is, let's say mine is purple. Purple with stripes. Could you also grab my jacket? Which jacket is yours? Uh, and could you also grab my scarf? Which scarf is yours? Mine is purple with stripes. Okay, so now let's say there's me, there's Diana, there's Jorge, and there's you. So there are four people here. Me, you, Diana, and Jorge. That's four people. So three of us have hats. You don't have a hat. So let's say you want a hat. Which hat do you want? So from unit 10, we can ask which hat would you like? Which hat would you like? Remember, would you uh, is from unit 10. Unit 10, lesson B. When we say would you, we mean do you want. Which one do you want? And with would you, we can pronounce this as would you. Which hat would you like? My hat, Diana's hat, or Jorge's hat? So, we can say... We can say, my hat 
is the smallest. My hat is the smallest, here. We can also change my hat to mine, because we already know from the question that we're talking about hats. Mine is the smallest. Diana's Diana's is the biggest. Because we know that we're talking about hats, we don't need to say hat here. But we can. We can say, Diana's hat is the biggest. Or we can just say, Diana's is the biggest. Because we already know we're talking about hats. We can also say, hers is the biggest. Well, yes, Diana's hat is the biggest. It, it blocks the most amount of sun. But Jorge's, Jorge's hat is the tallest. We can say Jorge's hat or we can say his. His is the tallest. So, which hat would you like? Mine is the smallest. Hers is the biggest. His is the tallest. So which hat would you like? The smallest, the biggest, or the tallest hat? Or maybe you like it based on color and style. So we can say blank hat is the prettiest. Blank hat is the prettiest. Which one? Is my hat the prettiest? Is her hat the prettiest? Or is his hat the prettiest? I'm going to say his hat is the prettiest. Jorge's hat is the prettiest hat. So we can say his hat is the prettiest. Or we can say his is the prettiest. Because, if I can find my paper, okay. the possessive adjective is his. So we say, his hat is the prettiest. Or we can replace his hat with just the word his, the possessive pronoun his. So his hat is the prettiest, or just his is the prettiest. Or even... Jorge apostrophe S. Jorge's is the prettiest. Jorge's is the prettiest. When we say Jorge's, we know we are talking about hats. Jorge's hat is the prettiest. But we don't need to say the word hat in this sentence because we already know we're talking about hats.